one potential disastrous consequence is that in the period after this conflict, when it finally subsides, there could be substantial backlash against the Alawite community and other communities within Syria that have been affected by the conflict. So what do you think the opposition should be doing right now to project the signal that there won't be repercussions and that, in fact, inclusivity will be a main part of their agenda? Well, you know, they have been sending these kind of signals, but actually nobody believes the other side. You know, what they see, they have a perfect living example right next door in Iraq. The war there ended, but the slaughter taking place between the Sunni and the Shia is continuing to this day. Based on what we find lately, nearly 3,000 Iraqis died in the last 45 days or something like that. That's a huge people dying. And that is after the war as well. And that is Sunnis are killing Shia, Shia are killing, killing Sunnis. So the problem of retribution is, uh, I'm sorry to say, it's almost like part of the, the culture of these conflicts. And that is very, very sad. Now, notwithstanding the promises they make, that is, we have now a governing so-called body representative of all the various factions within Syria, the Alawite, the Sunni, the Shia, uh, the, the, the Christian, the, the, the Kurds, is it possible that eventually they will fully cooperate and be no revenge, no retribution? It is hard to imagine this would be the case. Moreover, if the conflict were to end now, the prospect of that happening are much better. But if the conflict continues for another six months or a year, then the factionalism between the country would become so more, much more acute Syria will simply disintegrate. And if it disintegrates and becomes failed state, every faction is going to fend for itself. And you might see now as Syria is segmented into five, six different uh, portions, you know, almost like enclaves. And uh, to put it back together is going to take a uh, huge uh, effort, you know, and, and may, not, may not be easy anymore. So this is the concern. That's what I've been saying and advocating in the time has come for the United States too. Because if America doesn't lead this campaign, probably little would happen. And I think my, my projection that, is, that Syria will disintegrate, it will come to pass. I think President Obama ought to think about these things very, very carefully. And I know there's a shift lately that's supplying openly now, officially, uh, medical supplies, communication gears, and all of this, and facilitating some weapons coming from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, and even from Turkey. But as long as you don't, the, the, those surrounding countries don't see the United States itself, as it has done, say, in Libya, even though from distance, they don't take these other efforts too seriously. Because when the United States puts its foot down, everybody takes notice. And that, from a psychological perspective, could have a tremendous impact on the outcome.